Okay, so let's get into the texturing part. Uh, we can go to shading mode. You can see this is our castle. I've already turned on ambient occlusion and uh, boosted the distance a bit so that I can see, so that uh, that ambient occlusion is more pronounced. You can see around the corners there. And uh, we can now start working on the materials. So what I'm going to do for the materials, uh, I'm going to be using mostly, I'm not going to use the castle because that would be a lot of work, but uh, you can do it if you want. And I think it's more efficient to use uh, object mapping instead of uh, UV mapping for this kind of, for this kind of uh, our work. So let's go find some textures. Textures. I have some brick textures here. I will also bring back the image here just so that I can see what I'm doing. I also had this other image. It's the same image but uh, in a different perspective. I think this also needed to be bigger but uh, that's okay. So let's Select this, find a brick texture that works. That is two Bs. Yeah, I don't know about these. I may have to first download some textures, but uh, let's first work with what we have. And then we can come back and uh, download uh, more textures if you want. Miss bricks. There is that, and there is this. Let me try using this first. Uh, because uh, in Blender 2.8, uh, most objects that uh, you add into Blender will always um, will have some default UV mapping. Uh, this is what uh, you Blender is using to 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 map these objects. Uh, and if you go to edit mode, you can uh, you can see the UV map that is there, but we are not going to be using that. Uh, we need to add, if you hit Ctrl T, you can bring up uh, the mapping here and change the object uh, to, the. you can change the te texture coordinate from UV to object. That will let us use uh, object mapping. Uh, the shortcut will only work if you use if you have the node wrangler add-on turned on uh, you can go to your settings preferences so edit preferences add-ons and then turn on and then search for node wrangler and then uh, make sure you stand on uh, so that you can use those short, shortcut the shortcuts you see me using here so for this mapping to work correctly we need to change uh, the projection here from flat to box and you can see uh, the textures the textures are coming through are starting to come through uh, but I think they're too small so we need to scale this down so let's try point one and point one and then point one okay they they seem to be stretched in one in one direction so we can uh, try point one so I think in this direction yeah so something like that point let's say one let's see if we say point two no point zero one that's too small that's too big point zero five yeah that's I think that's a good size this can be point five and uh, for this let's try zero point five as well so let's apply the same material for this to this Uh, remember, this for some reason is stretching in the in object mode. So 
uh, I think that's why you ha we are having different distortions for these two, but uh, it should work perfectly on this. And uh, I think on this, uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, also on that. Uh, let's try on this and see. Okay, we're, g we're going to need a different mapping for that. And that. And that. Let's try the inside walls should also be using the same mapping coordinates. So, yeah, they are good as well. Uh, this is going to be using a different nice it should also be the same material but uh, it will be stretching if we try to apply the same mapping here so um, let's try this okay we're going to need a different mapping for that as well uh, so uh, let's first remove this we have ambient occlusion here we can bring that in connect it to the mapping make sure this is recording okay uh, we need to add to mix this uh, color mix RGB bring this here change this to multiply <coughs> And make sure this is also set to box mapping. And uh, let's see. Yeah, you can see the ambient occlusion working there. Uh, we need to bring in uh, the roughness, change the projection to uh, box. Connect the mapping, connect the roughness. Uh, we can go to the world properties, use nodes, environment, and uh, find a background image, HDRI image for the lighting. <coughs> Let me use this. Let's go to the world settings. So, so to render, sorry. Uh, may, maybe let me also add a sun here. Sun. I think we can remove this light and uh, hide that. <coughs> can increase this, let's say, turn on contact shadows and uh, increase this, let's say, 30 and see. And that's too much, let's say, 20. And let's keep it at 10. You can also turn on spin sc uh, space, screen space reflections. And uh, let's go back to the material and play around with this and with this uh, uh, roughness. So let's add a color ramp. And uh, we can preview this node, just this node, by hitting Control Shift and then clicking on that node. So this is our uh, roughness. You can increase the contrast of this like this. That uh, we don't want to have a very sharp uh, roughness uh, reflection, so we can uh, reduce on that. And uh, we don't want we want we don't want uh, we, you want to keep it somewhere between there. So let's see, or oh, whatever looks good to you. So that's what we have so far, and uh, we can now bring in the uh, displacement I'll connect this directly uh, 
and you can always also uh, s first disconnect uh, the the color just to see if uh, the bumping is working. Uh, we also need uh, this mapping. Change this to box as well. But uh, this is too much, so you can see it's a bit too much. So we need to reduce the amount by adding a convert math node and change the value, the operation to multiply. Uh, this will let you control uh, the amount of bumping uh, you want. So let's try point 0.1. I think that should be good enough. So let's bring back this. Yeah, I think we need to increase uh, the size of the bricks a bit. So let's go back to the mapping and try uh, to five. Uh, to five and to five. So we'll change the textures later after I download uh, some good textures and uh, we'll see how that work, how that looks. Let me see how this looks in cycles. Not bad, not bad. Uh, let's go back to Eevee. So we can also No, let me end this part here so that I can find some good textures to work with here.